Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm great. I'm so happy, Pamela. How about you? How are you? Um, very good. Very good. Excellent. Yay. How about Adriana? How are you, Adriana? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, honey. How are you? Mm. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, excellent. Dígame con confianza. Sleep. Tired. No quiero estar aquí, dígame. All right, Adriana, don't worry. I got you. All right, yo la completo. Let's see, what about Azucena? How are you, Azucena? Let's see. Hi, good evening, teacher. I'm very fine. Excellent. Very good to hear that. Excellent. All right, everybody, welcome back to your English class. As per usual, it's a pleasure to have you in this class, all right? So let's get started, all right? Let's jump right in into the class. Today is class 14. We are still in the section five, right? Because we started with that yesterday. We're going to work this night, we're going to work with section five. And also on Monday's night, we're going to work with section five. Then we are going to pass to the final exam, right? And then you'll finish and you say, bye-bye, Miss Arevalo, all right? And you go with another teacher. So let's see. We have the topic of this section is, I can't ice skate very well. On Sabo, we don't have ice, so that's something good. Let's check this, everybody. Grammar focus. Now, if you remember yesterday, I was asking you, because of the time, I was in a hurry, right? So I was asking the questions, choosing people to answer those questions. Now, what I need you is to work between you guys, all right? Some of you are going to ask, some others are going to answer, right? That's the goal for today's class, that everybody learns how to ask and also how to answer. So let's see, let's get started with... I'm going to tell you then again the vocabulary. Voy a volver a repetir el vocabulario, right? Que sería esto, las preguntas y las respuestas para que luego ustedes practiquen, right? Porque ayer como ya habíamos terminado la clase, solo yo iba preguntando directamente, right? Pero ahora no, ahora vamos like a chilling. <laughs> Let's see. Simple present WH questions. What sports do you play? I play hockey. Aquí no es hockey, aquí es hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning, All right? So let's check, girls. Let's get into the business together. Let's see, I'm going to have, um, I'm going to have Adriana. Adriana, you ask, usted pregunta, Adriana, y escoja con quién quiere trabajar, con Laura o con Azucena. Hello. Con Laura. Ok, excellent. So, usted pregunta, Adriana. Action. Bueno. What sport do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Would you play bas basketball, basketball with... I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Um, where, where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or uh, twice a week. When do you practice? 
We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. There you go, excellent girls. Thank you. Now, let me check who else do we have. Now, what are we going to do? Let's check. Okay, okay, don't worry. Let me just answer this message, everybody. Okay, let me go with, we're still going to work with Laura and Adriana, but what are we going to do next? We're going to exchange roles, right? Ahora Laura, usted pregunta y Adriana, usted responde. ¿Por qué quiero que practiquemos esto? Porque tenemos vocabulary que nos puede costar si no lo practicamos, right? Action. Okay, what sports do you play? We play ¿Cómo se menciona la palabra? Hockey. Hockey. Y play hockey and basketball. Baseball. Baseball. Mm -hmm. ah, baseball. Y play hockey have... and baseball. Yeah. <laughs> what do you play baseball with? Y play with some friends from girl with half a um, team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice on of this a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 at 10 o'clock in the morning that's correct now you see girls thank you so much that was pretty good now let's check any other pair let me see na, na, na. let me see we have Estreberto. hi Estreberto. welcome hi how are you very good very good all right Es Roberto, you want to work with Fabiola or with Azucena? ¿Qué estamos haciendo ahorita? Estoy entrando. Sí, Fabiola, no se preocupe, solo estamos practicando la pronunciation y intonation de las questions. Ah, sí, como ella. Ajá, exacto. Solo que ayer como ya estábamos terminando, solo yo les iba preguntando, right? Sí. Okay. So, let's see, Estreberto. ¿Quiénes dijo que estaban todavía disponibles? Está Susana, está Fabiola, está Lourdes y ahora Jaime en Manuel, pero creo que ellos acaban de entrar. Ok, ya Fabiola, entonces. And there you go, excellent, ok. So, Estreberto, you will ask, usted pregunta, en Fabiola, you will answer, right? Luego, vamos a exchange roles, luego vamos a cambiar roles, ok. Ok. Action. Uh, what sport do you play? I play hockey and baseball. What do you play baseball with? with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. What do you play? Um, we play at Under Park. How often do you practice? We practice, we practice on um, or twice a week. Once or twice? Come? Once or twice? Once? Once or, or twice? Uh, ¿Qué quiere decir en español? Una o dos Una veces por semana. Dos veces al uh, okay. When do you practice? When did you practice? 
we practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay. Ahora intercambiamos, ¿verdad, Miss? Exactly, indeed, please. Okay. okay. And what sport do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play when some afraid from world we had with hot on team. Where do you where do you play? We play on Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice on our twenty uh week. Repeat once or twice? One. <laughs> when do you practice? Uh, we practice on Sunday. What time do you start? We start on at 10 o'clock in the morning. There you go. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Yes, as Fabiola mentions, or right, idea, yeah, it's kind of hard. But basically, that's the purpose for you to practice, right? You have a goal. And your goal is to learn English and make it perfect, right? So that's why we need to practice, practice, practice as much as we can. That's the only way in which you can get that goal, right? That goal. Let's see, Susana, choose somebody. Who would you like to work with? De, de los que están que no han participado, ¿verdad? Yes, exactly. Solo a Francisco no lo vaya a pedir porque él no puede ahorita. Ah, ok. Eh, elijo a la compañera Regina Fuentes. No sé si está al tanto de lo que vamos a hacer. No, no, okay. ¿Qué, ¿qué vamos a hacer? <risa> Let me explain, Regina. Se, no okay. sé si recuerdan que ayer yo les estaba, les estaba preguntando estas questions, right No, sí, sí, sí. Entonces, por cuestión de tiempo, solo yo iba preguntando y ustedes contestando. Ahora no. Como tenemos que medir mucho cómo es la pronunciación de estas questions, la intonation, uh -huh. ahora les toca a ustedes, ¿ok? So, ah, a su okay, okay. le va a preguntar a usted y usted va a responder. Uh -huh. After that, um, we're going to exchange roles. Después de eso, intercambiamos uh -huh. roles. Ah, ok. Está bien. Action. What sport do you play? I play hockey and baseball. How do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We, we start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, okay. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter, Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sunday. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. There you go, excellent. Now, have you noticed that now your fluency is better? All right. Cuando intercambiamos roles, como ya hemos escuchado cómo lo pronuncia el compañero y nosotros ya hicimos la otra part, Ambos ayudan, all right? Entonces ya, the second time, it's better. It's faster, right? Ya van un poquito yes. más agilizados. Excellent. Thank you, girls. Okay. Now, let me go with Sandrita. Let's see, Sandrita, choose somebody. Le voy a decir quiénes no han pasado, Sandrita. No han pasado Jaime, no ha pasado Manuel, y no ha pasado Orlando Echeverría. 
teníamos a Lourdes por aquí, pero ya no la veo. Good evening. Good evening, Sandrita. How are you? Um, I'm too tired. Oh, today. I got you. I got you. But tomorrow is Friday. Oh, como yes. Friday. yes, yes, yes. All right, es el día libre. <laughs> Yes, Sandrita. Ok, Sandrita okay. Espoja. Solo tiene eh, eh, compañeros ahorita. Orlando. Ok. Action. Eh, para los que van entrando, uno de ustedes va a preguntar y el otro contesta. En este caso, Sandrita, you ask and Orlando is going to answer, right? Y luego intercambiamos roles. Ok. ¿Cuál sport do you play? I play soccer and baseball. Who did you play baseball with? I played with some friends from work. We have a, a team. Where did you play? We play a uh, Hunter Park. How does they... How often do you practice? We practice once, once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you, do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. There you go. Okay. Now let's exchange. Now Orlando you ask and Sandrita you answer. Solo eh, les repito esta frase once or twice. Okay. Twice. Okay. Action. Okay, me. Okay, uh, Sandra. What sport do you play? I play hockey and basketball. What did you play? And, baseball and, and with? baseball, please. Sorry. Okay. Who uh -huh. did you who did you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We had a team. Where do you play? We play at a Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice one or two a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sunday. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock or the, in the morning. There you go. Excellent, guys. Bravo. Very good. Now, let me go with Lourdes. Okay, Lourdes, ahora sí ya la veo. <laughs> Let's see. Choose someone, Lourdes. Ustedes cogen. We have... Jaime, we have Miguel, and we have Manuel. With Jaime. Okay, action. You will ask Lourdes, and Jaime is going to answer. Okay. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who, who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Now let's just change roles, please. Now, Jaime, you ask, and the word this is going to answer. Action. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. There you go, excellent guys. Thank you so much. As I told you before, what I'm looking for right now, the goal that we need to achieve is to have fluency, all right? Because these topics, you already know them. You know how to handle them, right? How to work them. 
But what about pronunciation? How about fluency, right? So that's what we're checking over here. Let's go with the last pair. It's going to be Miguel Morales and Manuel Rivas, all right? So Miguel, you ask, Manuel, you answer, please. Okay. What sport do you play? I play hockey and baseball. How do you play baseball with? I play with someone, some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sunday. What time do you, do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. That's correct. Thank you. Now let's just change roles. Manuel, you ask. Miguel, you answer. Action. Okay. What sports do you play? I play hockey in baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from war. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sunday. What time do you start? We start at 10, 10 o'clock in the morning. There you go, excellent, thank you guys. Now let's check this. All of you did a great job with the pronunciation and fluency and also the correct way of asking things with WH words, right? Let's check the guiding structure. We have double H word plus does plus subject plus do or does plus subject plus verb plus complement, right? Let me ask Azucena, read again the structure, please. Okay, Miss. Which word plus do or does plus subject plus verb plus complement? That's correct. Excellent. Wonderful. All right. This is the structure that you already handled, that you already know how to use, right? You've got the subject that's basic, you got a verb that's mandatory, and if you want, you can have a complement, all right? It's going to depend um, according to your context in which you are being developed. Miss. Aha, uh -huh. Susana. Usaremos question mark. Ah, very wise. Look at you. That's correct, Susana. Plus question mark. That's clever. Thank you, honey. All right, there you go, guys. You have all the elements necessary to form the questions. Let's get into some guiding examples. And let me check. Jaime, please, example number one and two. One and two? Yes. Okay. What sports does Eunice play? Who do, you, who do you play tennis with? Excellent, very good, thank you. Hay que tener mucha cuidado, mucha, mucha cuidado. Mucho cuidado con esta WH word, all right? Y esto es para todos. Porque esta suena como who, así se pronuncia, who. Así como escucharon a Jaime, who, that's the correct one. No podemos decir who, porque no, all right? No, no, no nos van a entender. So let's go with Lourdes, three and four, please. Okay, number three, where does he play? How often do they practice? That's correct, excellent, thank you. Now, as if you may have noticed in the video of the platform, in here in the class, in the practice, we have something kind of strange, right? We usually tend to write with at the beginning of something, right? To make other people understand who are we playing with or who are we practicing. But in this case, you may notice as well that we have the word with 
at the end. And that's specifically only with the WH word who. who. That's the only exception that we have, right? Let's check the other structure. Prepare otra estructura que también se las menciona en el video, right? Guiding a structure, let me check. Fabiola, can you please read it? Eh, nos dijo que se pronuncia who, o algo así. Yes, sí, who. Yeah. Who plus do or does plus subject plus verb and now plus with. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you, Fabi. Let's check this structure particularly, right? I have, ya la voy a poner de regreso, right? Solo voy a mover menos getting examples. Who does Martin play basketball with? Right? Who do you practice with? In this case, you may have noticed that we don't have a noun, right? Sometimes you may add a noun, si ustedes desean o si el contexto se los pide, van a agregar el noun, como en este caso, basketball, sería nuestro noun, right? Pero si no, no lo pide, no lo necesita, y aún así nos damos a entender, you want to use it. Y en este caso, que les puse una para que vean cómo es que usualmente conocemos este, el uso del with, right? With whom does one play, right? Cuando vamos a iniciar con el with, ahí es donde utilizamos whom. Si... Han visto quizás en algún TV show or in a newspaper or in a reading, whatever you read or something else, you may have noticed that they do have this word, whom, all right? It's the same thing as who, to be clear, it's the same thing, but it's going to change in this place. Si tengo el with al principio, me voy a hacer cargo de utilizar el whom. Pero si quiero utilizar el with al final, Solo voy a utilizar el who at the beginning, right? Let me check. Let's go to the structure. Do you have any questions? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? Ajá, Regina. Excellent. Una consulta. ¿Cómo fue lo que explicó que al final va a ir el with? Ah, yes. Cuando queremos utilizar el with al final, como es más frecuente utilizarlo, right? Usted va a utilizar el who, right? Aquí les preparé esta estructura. Aquí dice, ¿ven? Who, voy a comenzar mi pregunta with who, que sería la double H word. Luego le agrego mis auxiliares, right? Que serían do or does. Luego me dice la estructura, ponen un subject y luego un verb. Esto va a depender, ahí dice verb y noun, va a depender si es necesario en su contexto utilizar ambos. Si no necesita uh -huh. el noun, no lo ponga, right? Uh -huh. Si no, déjelo ahí. Y al final va a terminar con with, right? Okay, thank you. Pero, ajá, aquí vamos, you're welcome, uh -huh. Regina. Pero si ustedes uh -huh. quieren comenzar con el with, su pregunta, tienen que utilizar esta double H word, whom. Esta no es muy común. Quizás por eso se pueden extrañar, right? Porque no es muy común. Si se utiliza, si existe, y no está prohibido utilizarla. It's just that it's not that common. Solo que no es tan común. All right. Do you have another question? Y me dicen si quieren que regrese a la primera estructura, right? Si no la copiaron. Hello, am I alone in the class? I have a question, Miss. Ajá, let's see, Orlando. Uh, en el caso que nos explicó, eh, únicamente se cumple esa regla cuando iniciamos eh, con who y agregamos, si no ocupamos who, al final diría, podría ir with o debería ir with. Exactly. Con cualquier correct. otra double edged question, no ocuparíamos with al final. No, no lo necesitan. Okay. Uh -huh. Ok, me queda claro. Gracias. You're welcome. ¿Alguien más? Ahorita, después en dudas, all right? Porque después no quiero que les quede ningún gap. Este tema es bien interesante y parecía fácil al principio, pero ahora podría complicársenos un poquito. So, are we good? 
Okay, you don't have no, you have no questions, no comments? No. <laughs> Excellent, Regina, thank you. All right, si al pasar la clase, guys, sienten que les quedó un espacio ahí que necesitan resolver, me avisan, okay? Tenemos que quedar completitos con esto. So let's move on that. <laughs> Practice time. Let's check this one. Lower this. Can you please tell me the instructions? Yes. One. Work as a walk class to create at least four sentences using WH words. Three. Share your questions with the class. That's correct. Indeed. Thank you, girl. All right, guys. There you go. Create four Hmm, this is not correct. Four questions, right? Four questions using WH words, right? Si necesitan que vuelva los ejemplos, me avisan, right? Los ejemplos de la estructura principal o si necesitan los ejemplos de la estructura conjunta. La estructura, mis. La estructura principal. En mi caso, sí. There you go. Ok, y Miss, ¿cómo, ¿cómo se llama esta, esta estructura que estamos trabajando? Es this one, look, simple present WH questions. Ok. Thank you, Miss. Let me check. Ah, ok, and then the examples. There you go. If you have questions or by any time you need help, you let me know, okay? I'll be in here. Mist siempre van a ser hablando de los deportes. No, you can talk about anything that you want. Ah, uh, ok, thank you. Si quiere preguntarle a alguien cada cuánto come algo, you can do it with how often, right? Uh, okay. Or with thank you. There you go, excellent.
now if you feel that four questions are too much you can just create two all right don't worry Okay, one more minute and we start sharing, okay? All right, now let's get started. Let's see, guys. Let me check. Let's start with Laura. Okay, Laurita, tell me, please, your questions. Okay. Where do you play soccer? Where do I work on Sunday? What does Alejandra study in the morning? What does Maria cook chicken with? Excellent, very really good, Laurita. Those are correct. Let's go with Regina. <laughs> okay. Es que vi que encendió el micrófono, entonces yo dije. Okay, lo hice a propósito. Okay, to catch my attention, para llamar mi atención. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see. 
Who does Enrique play soccer with? Where often does he play park or no? Where often does he play park or university? Oh no. Let me check. Where does often? No. No. Voy a poner where does he often play? Uh -huh. Sí, sí. Porque si se fija okay. aquí en la structure, uh -huh. nos dice que tiene que ir where, supongamos que la suya dice where does uh -huh. he often uh -huh. play, uh -huh. right? Play. Uh, ok. Eh, la otra. What time do you eat? What time usually do you eat at dinner? And who does Monica go shopping with? Uh -huh, there you go. Those are correct, Regina. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Miss. And what do you do on weekends? Weekends. Si está correcta, Fabi. Todas las que me enviado están correctas. Where do you exercise on Saturdays? With whom do you go to school? Check. What do you do on weekends? Yes, those are correct, Fabi. No mistakes. Let's go with Manuel. Let's listen to your questions. Okay, and what time do you get up? How often do you play soccer? What does he do for a leave? When does she make exercise? Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are correct. Thank you, Manuel. Let's go with Azucena. Yo aún no he terminado, me tuve que levantar y hace poquito me he vuelto a sentar de nuevo. Ok, don't worry, Azucena. Let me go with somebody else. What about Ronnie? Las que tenga, Ronnie. Si no tiene cuatro, no hay problema, pero las que tenga. Uh, no, solo, solo, who, what are you doing in my house? ¿Sí? Hmm, ahí me está utilizando verb to be y progressive. What are you doing uh, in my house? Esa es otra tense. Y si nota aquí no tenemos el verb to be, right? Sí, sí. Yo voy a hacerla de nuevo. Otra. Right. Don't worry. Voy a hacer otra. Voy a hacer otra. Ok. Excellent. Okay. Don't worry. What about, tengo a Sandrita por aquí. Déjenme chequear. No, ya no está Sandrita. What about um, Orlando? Let's check your sentences, Orlando. Ok, Miss. I have only three sentences. ¿Sí? Um, when do you go to the hospital for your x-rays? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, with with uh, another question. Uh, ¿Cuál es la pronunciación de la del del whom del auxiliar hmm. creo que es? Whom? No, el whom siempre actúa como eh, wh word. Sería with whom. With whom, okay. With whom do you study at home? O con quién estudias en, en casa? With whom do you study? Ajá, sí. With whom do you study at home? Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, how much do you pay for internet service? How much do you pay? Sí, how much do you pay for internet service? Uh -huh. yes. And when in your next training session? When Pero creo que ese está con tu B. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Exacto. Okay. Sí, también ahí tiene el training. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. Sí. El, el, el Esa es progresivo. Progresiva, exactly. Progressive would be. There you go. Thank you. Trabajaré en la otra. Gracias. Okay. Very good, Orlando. Don't worry. Let's check. All right, guys. Because of the time, I won't be able to catch all of your sentence, all of your questions, because I need to move on with the next one. All right. We have the pronunciation of can and can't. Now, let me go to your video because in this part is mandatory for me to. Um, to watch the video with you guys and help you with the pronunciation, right? So let me just go look for it. There you go. 
let's pay attention. You don't need to write down anything. You just need to listen. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to sound natural when using can and can't. Let's start by listening to the pronunciation of can and can't. Can and can't. Notice the pronunciation of can and can't. I can act, but I can't sing very well. This is a very simple pronunciation. If you notice the positive statement, I can act. Above the word, you can see how that is pronounced. Can as the pronunciation symbol. On the other hand, the negative statement is pronounced differently. We will pronounce it as can. Another tip that I would like to mention here is when it comes to negative statements, which are contracted, we can also follow the simple rule. If there's a contraction which ends in NT, you can think of extending that N. Let me illustrate that. I can't sing very well. This trick can also help with pronunciation. English pronunciation is not an easy topic and it requires a lot of listening and practicing. I would like to encourage you to practice these two simple phrases. Practice by listening and repeating. Do this several times until you feel like it's not difficult for you. He's right. Practicing the English pronunciation is not an easy thing, right? That's why if you notice, I always I'm always encouraging you guys to practice your pronunciation, right? Because maybe writing and grammar, it's like you can handle those things, but with pronunciation, you need to practice, right? So that's the key. That's the main goal. Now let's get into the business. How do we pronounce this one? We say can, right? There's no other way. Can. Easy going, all right? Relajen la boca, all right? No sean tan pesados. You just say can, can, can. And there you go with can't, 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 right? Él decía que uno de los um, advices that he could give us was to say double N, right? To double it up. And that's what you can do, can't, can't, can't. Now let's get into some practice. Let me check, Jaime, please. Tell me the pronunciation of can and can't. I'm going to try. Okay. Can and can't. There you go, easy peasy, right? Very good, Jaime. What about Adriana? Pronunciation. Yes. Um, can and can't. Can't, there you go, excellent, thank you. Let's go with um, Ronnie. Can't. There you go, excellent. <laughs> Give me one second, guys. Ay, no sé por qué utilizo esta cosita. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Ronnie. Let's go with Fabiola. Um, can and can't. There you go. Thank you. Let's go with Azucena. Can and can't. Excellent. There you go. Thank you, guys. Now, because of the time, I won't be able to, to see how all of you are doing with the pronunciation. But let's move on to the conversation. This is going to be pretty useful, all right? Conversations are always a good tool to work our English pronunciation. So let's check. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh no, I can't sing at all, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Contest, sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow, right? That's kind of risky, but they are doing it. Okay, so let me go with Laura, Laura, you are Kayla, and let me see, Francisco, you are raising your hand. ¿Ya puede hablar, Francisco? ¿O solo se equivoco? <laughs> no, ahorita okay. sí, ya, ya puedo. Okay. You are Philip, Francisco. Action. 
Oh, look, there's a talent concert on Sunday. On Saturdays, let's enter. I can enter a talent concert. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no, I can't sing at all, but I can play the piano. So maybe you can enter the concert. So why not? Okay, let's practice. Let's practice tomorrow. There you go. Excellent, guys. Bravo. Let's get with Esmeralda del Rosario. You are Kayla. Manuel, you are Philip. Action. Oh, look. There is a talent contest on oh, Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. Oh, sigue. Uh, yes. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. What well, you can do? Oh, no, I can't. Oh, no, I can't sing at all, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can. Perdón. So maybe we can. Can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. There you go, excellent, thank you. Let's go with Regina, you are Kayla, Ronnie, you are Philip, action. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on so Saturday, let's enter. I can enter a talent contest, what can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Where you can do? Oh, no, I can't sing at all, but but I can play the piano. Uh, so maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Oh, excellent. Confluency. Very good. Let's go with Jaime Ernesto. You are Philip and... Lourdes, you are Kayla. Action. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no, I can't sing at all but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Excellent, very good. Thank you guys. Now, let's move on. This um, conversation, it's like for you to get into the mood, right? To understand how do we use it. Now let's get into the business. Can for ability. As you may have heard before, we use can when you're talking about things that you can do or can't do, right? So I can sing very well. You can sing very well. He can sing very well. She can't sing at all. We can't sing at all. They can't sing at all. Okay, now let's go with this one. Can you sing? Can I sing? Can he sing? Can she sing? Can we sing? Can they sing? Yes, I can. Yes, you can. No, she can't. No, we can't. And no, they can't. Right? What can I do? You can sing. Who can, who can sing? Philip can, right? <laughs> Philip can. There you go. Now let's go to the practice. Let me have the ones that didn't practice before. I'm going to have Azucena. Azucena, tell me all this part, please. 
todo esto, please. I, uh, tengo que decir la oración, ¿verdad? I yes. can, ok, ok. I can sing very well. You can sing very well. You sing very well. We can sing. We can sing at all. They can sing at all. Excellent, thank you. Fabiola, you are going to ask and Orlando Echeverria, you will answer, all right? Usted va a ir preguntando a Fabiola, for example, can you sing? Y él va a decir, yes, I can, right? Así vamos a ir. Una pregunta, después de you can he sing, tendría que decirles de abajo, pero al contrario, o sea, she can he sing. O Ajá, ya no va a utilizar el you, este solo es su subject una vez, de ahí va a utilizar el I, luego el he. Ah, ya, ya. Okay. El primero sería si you can. No, can you sing? Ah, ya. Yeah. Can you sing? I yes, can. I can. Ah, sí, bueno. Después, I can sing. Can I sing? Yes, you can. Después sería. Can he sing? Yes, he can. She can sing. Can she sing? Ay, es que aquí me trago. Siempre sería primero eh, el can. El can, ajá. Uh -huh. O sea, can she sing? No, she can't. Es can we sing? No, we can't. Can't they sing? No, they can't. There you go, excellent. Thank you, guys. And Miguel Morales, please, tell me this information. What can I do? You can sing. Who can sing? Phil can. There you go, excellent. Let's go, Roberto. Tell me this part, please. You're the last one. What can I do? You can sing. What can, who can, ese era, como era? Esa como era. Sing. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? No. Ah. Who can sing? Philip can. Phil, Philip can. Excellent. All right. Now, listen, guys. Uh, this is just about practicing more and more. For next class, we are going to take advantage of the time because we still have time to work on section five, all right? Of course, as per usual, if you want, you may take advantage and work during the weekend. Si ustedes desean, pueden tomar ventaja y avanzar durante todo el fin de semana, pero también el lunes vamos a terminar de desarrollar estos topics, right? Como siempre les he dicho en los videos, el profesor, the teacher, is going to develop all the topics. Él va desarrollando todos los topics, pero aquí también le venimos a dar una explicación más amplia, right? Y más despacio. All right, y'all, that's pretty much it for today's class. It was a pleasure to see you, and I will see you on Monday. Bye. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. You're welcome.